Well, hello, friends. Welcome back. In this exciting series of lectures, we're going to begin to examine correlational analysis. This little video is simply entitled An Introduction. We're going to meet a couple of concepts and try to cement them into your mind so that you have correlational analysis down, or at least have a good foundation upon which to build. Now, in correlational analysis, there are some terms that you need to know. And obviously, the first of those is correlation. Correlation is a way of representing the relationship between two variables. Bivariate refers to two variables. Now, look at this just a minute. Correlation is a way of representing the relationship between two variables. Bivariate refers to two variables. So correlational analysis is often referred to as bivariant correlational analysis, meaning that we are examining the relationship between two variables only. Now certainly you can represent the relationship between more than two, but we will be beginning with bivariate correlational analysis. Now before you panic, don't, don't go out on the porch and throw up yet. Correlation, what is it really? Well, correlation is the relationship between two values. Now, I want to remind you that you have relationships. Perhaps you have a brother or sister. And a brother or sister would be considered a close blood relationship. My sister, I have had three. One is, had died a number of years ago. But then I have a sister, Karen, a year younger than me, and a sister, Kim, nine years younger than me. Of course, now everybody's younger than me these days. But, but my sister Karen is a close blood relation. She calls me at least 12 times a day just to see what I'm up to. Now, correlation is a relationship. You can have a fourth or a fifth cousin. Now, think about that. You have a, a brother or sister, which is a close blood relation. Then you have a fourth or fifth cousin, which is a weak blood relation. Uh, in East Texas, where I come from, it's considered proper. You can marry a cousin who is more distantly related to you than a third cousin. And if you want to marry a first cousin, I understand you have to go to Arkansas. Now, correlations are viewed as strong or weak. A sister or brother is a strong relationship. A fourth or fifth cousin is a weak relationship. So consider the strong or weak correlation here. Closely related, distantly related. Now, correlations are viewed as strong or weak. They can also be viewed as positive or negative. Consider the following. Correlation being the relationship between two values, what about the relationship between a friend or an enemy? A friend would be viewed as a positive relationship. An enemy would be viewed as a negative relationship. Correlations, again, are viewed as positive or negative. Now, consider these two runners. They are traveling together. Positive means that two values are traveling together. A negative means that they are traveling opposite directions. Uh, when they travel together, that means as one goes up, the other one goes up. As one goes down, the other one goes down. When they are a negative relation and traveling opposite directions, if one goes up, the other one goes down. If one goes down, the other one goes up. Now, here's a summary of what you have learned in this video. Bivariate correlation, a way of representing the relationship between two values or two variables. If you want to impress your fans, go out and tell them, hey, I just watched a video on bivariate correlation. Sounds impressive. It just means that you're looking at the relationship between two variables. Correlations can be strong or weak. That means that they're closely tied together or not very well tied together. And then correlations can be positive or negative. Positive means they travel together. Negative means they travel against each other. Now consider a couple of questions. Can you picture a strong negative bivariate correlation? Let that sink in just a minute. A strong negative bivariate correlation. Some of you out there probably have 16 or 17 year old children. Now, you may with them have a very strong negative bivariate correlation. When my daughter was that age, if I said up, she said down. If I said left, she said right. If I said blue, she said red. If I said red, she said blue. Didn't matter what I said, she took the opposite approach. We had a strong negative bivariant correlation. 
And I could assure you that if I walked in and said run, she said lay down. Matter of fact, she joined the military because she was tired of people telling her what to do. I think this summer she puts on the rank of master sergeant. I'm very proud of her. But our correlation is no longer a strong negative bivariate correlation today since she's got to be about 34. Okay, can you picture a weak positive bivariate correlation? Positive means that they travel together. Weak means there's not much relationship in the decisions that are made. You can't depend that if one does one thing that the other one will necessarily do that. As a husband, I consider my relationship with my wife. We tend to travel the same direction, but sometimes that traveling is a little weak. I planned a romantic weekend in Jefferson, Texas, booked the hotel, had everything worked out. She decided that we needed to carry our four-month-old granddaughter. We, we went the same direction, but the relationship that we had there might have been a little weak since Papa got to carry, carry little Allie, who's four months old, all over Jefferson for two days. I love the little Allie. She is, I call her little Allie Gator because I've been watching too much Swamp People. Strong negative means that they're, they're very closely tied. Negative means that when one goes up, the other one goes down. Weak positive means they generally travel in the same direction, but you can't always count on them doing the same thing. Uh, if you understand this, you have come far, Pilgrim. And to quote a movie that I love, the old movie Mountain Men, you've done well to come so far with so much hair, with so many after it. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. I remind you that your patronage keeps my family fed. And as I have a, a very expensive deer hunt plan to go access deer hunting, I need the money. So you keep watching these videos. Again, in the words of the old Vulcan Star Trek, live long and prosper.